How's it going guys, Arcus Pro here and today we're going to be showing you how to root the HTC One M7. Now if you want to back up all your data, check out our how to back up all your data on the HTC One. Um, so now let's get into it. So if you've already backed up all your data or you don't need to back up your data, what you're going to do is go into settings. So you go into your phone settings. And now you want to go into about, which is right down the bottom, then go software information, then more. And then you're going to want to click five times on the build number. And once you click five times, it'll say congratulations, you are now a developer. But we're already a developer now, so it's saying no need, you're already a developer. So now you want to go back into the main settings page and go into developer options and make sure it's turned on at the top there it should be by default and also when you go into developer options it will say do you want to proceed and just tap OK and then you're gonna by default USB debugging bugging should be on but just turn if it's not just turn it on and click OK now I go back out and once you've done that you want to go into power power setting tab there and you're going to scroll down and turn fast boot off that's on at the moment uh, off at the moment so just turn it off like that and now you're just going to exit out of settings and power down your device by holding the power button just power off now once it's powered off we're just going to hold the volume button uh, the lock button and the volume down button so we'll just hold them and it will boot into this screen here and we're just going to click on fast boot there and just leave it like that now um, now we've got to go onto the computer so plug it into your computer now okay so once it's plugged into the computer, we'll just leave it to the side here. We're going to open terminal on our Mac here. So I've got to open. And so you're going to want to download the Android Tools folder, which we'll, we'll have a link in the description for, which we use to back up our um, files. If you've seen now how to back up the HTC One video, so it's the same files. And so now we're going to want to do, um, obviously first, CD um, Desktop with a capital D and then forward slash Android capital T for tool and tools. And so once you've done that, just click enter and... Um, now we're in the Android Tools directory, so now we can just do the command dot slash fast boot OEM space get underscore identifier underscore token and click spa uh, enter. And now we've got this big um, bunch of like code here, and it's going to say, "Please cut following message um, from the two, uh, the four forward arrows to the end forward arrows." So we're just going to copy that, and now you're going to want to head over to. Um, HTC Dev, and you're going to want to log in or create an account, but we're just going to create an account here. Uh, log in, sorry, and now go back to the home of HTC Dev and click on the unlock bootloader um, tab there and click get started.
Okay, so now once that's done, you're going to click on this little drop down box that says select your device, and you can scroll down to the bottom and click all other supported models, and then click the begin unlock bootloader tab. And it's going to ask you if you wish to continue, you just can click yes. And you're going to agree to the terms and conditions and everything, and then click proceed to unlock instructions. Uh, and this is going to tell you what I've already told you, and you're just going to proceed to the next step. And that's all the same thing. And here it has enter token, so we're just going to paste that. And you, um, you're going to have to get rid of, on Mac, you're going to have to get rid of this bootloader bit here. There's like... Um, uh, bootloader in brackets and you're gonna have to delete that and you have to delete all of them it's a bit annoying but make sure you don't delete any of the numbers because it's just gonna stuff up um, which I've done before and make sure there's no spaces as well otherwise you're gonna have to do this copy this all again and it's just a pain So just keep deleting all the bootloaders in brackets. Okay. So, so now, oh, I can get rid of that space there. Now that we've done, we're just going to submit that. And now it says token submitted successfully. And so it's going to send an email to whatever email you've got registered with HTC Dev. So if we go over to our email, yeah, um, you're going to have a email saying uh, just with um, it will have instructions on what to do next. So once you've downloaded the unlock code.bin file from your email, um, you're going to want to open terminal and type the command dot slash fast boot space um, flash space unlock token space unlock dot uh, underscore code dot bin make sure the u in unlock is a space otherwise it won't work and now it said um, now you'll it'll come up on your screen uh, confirming if you want to unlock your bootloader so you just want to tap yes so change that to yes oh no you have to change it with your volume buttons and then just click the power button to accept now This will, um, once it reboots, um, your bootload will be unlocked. <sighs> yep, so that's it guys. Um, your bootload will now be unlocked. Thanks for watching. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. Peace.